So for this problem, it says express the confidence interval 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.333, less than P, less than 0 0.555, in the form P hat plus or minus E. So when we run confidence intervals, you want to be pretty comfortable going back and forth between these two forms. I'll be honest, it's a little bit easier on the brain to go from the plus minus notation to this double inequality, where P is in between 0.33 and 0.55. So let's think about this. So let's think about integers first. What if I said the average height in my class was 72 inches plus or minus 2 inches? So this would be 72 plus or minus 2. And that translates to an upper bound of 74, lower bound of 70, right? So 72 plus 2, 72 minus 2. And we could write that similarly to how that P is written up there. We could write that as mu is greater than 70 and less than 74. So where mu is the average height. So to get the mean, I just average the 70 and 74, right? I say 70 plus 74 divided by 2, that's 72. Because the mean is what's right in the middle. So when we're looking for this p hat, that is right in the middle of my interval. So how do I find what's exactly in between? I find the average. And so in our problem, I just say 0.555 plus 0.333 divided by 2, and I get 0.444. So now to get the e part, so let's think about this back in our, with our nice integers on height, we have 70 less than mu, less than 74. So we're going to subtract the upper and lower bound. So we'll say 74 minus 70, and now divide by 2, because we have plus, or, we have plus this and minus this. So we divide by 2 every time. And we get 2, which is what we started off with, right? So I'm going to do the same thing in our problem. So the e in our problem, we say 0.555 minus 0.33 divided by 2. So we ultimately get 0.444 plus or minus 0.111. So you don't have to do that every time, but I sometimes in my head will go through, what do I do to get this? So I'm just going to find the average to find the, um, to find the statistic there, to find the p hat, and then find the errors. A little bit easier for me when I have nice integers, a little bit harder when they're decimals. So I hope that helps.